been two weeks since I've took my first pregnancy test and I haven't had any appointments just yet. I am due to have an appointment, not this week coming, but the week after. It should have been this week coming, but Darren and I are going on a little holiday down south, so uh, I've had to postpone it for the week after. And yeah, I was, well, I would have been about, according to the apps, I'm following two apps at the moment, the Pregnancy Plus and the What to Expect When You're Expecting app. And they're both suggesting I'm about five weeks today. So I'm going to take some pregnancy tests just to make sure that the levels are still, you know, creeping up. I've got the clear blue again and I've got just a cheap as the one. I've already peed in the cup. I peed this morning, been in the shower, just about to head out soon. just taking it out and there's already a line so confirmation that I am still pregnant So the pregnancy apps I'm following are suggesting I'm about five weeks today and according to those apps the embryo has a heartbeat by now which is um, quite exciting and yeah by the time well when I come to have my first appointment with the obstetrics department I will be about six weeks then. Yeah, I'll be six weeks and Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, six weeks and four days, which I anticipate they'll be doing an ultrasound. The first letter I got when I got the original appointment letter through said that I would need to drink two pints of water before going to the appointment because they may need to do an ultrasound. So hopefully that's the case. I presume they'll be doing some other kind of tests, I'm not too sure. They'll want to have a chat with me about my diabetes, which is good. I've really improved on my diabetes this last week and I'm so pleased, like, like unbelievably pleased. There's been a few days where I've had a couple of hiccups and my blood sugars have gone a little bit high, but I've caught them as soon as I've realised and they've never gone higher than what's considered dangerous. So, or they've just creeped into the danger zone, if not gone exceedingly high which is what I tend to suffer with quite bad but I'm still pregnant still pregnant I wonder how many weeks I'm going to be showing on that one yeah so diabetes is it's not perfectly controlled but it's 10 times better than what it has been in the past come on I have been having a few cramps, but I've not had any bleeding, so I'm taking that that's a good thing. Maybe not a good thing as such, but I think that's when you've got to worry is if there's a bit of blood. So I'm just constantly on the lookout for that, and I'm just going to try and monitor these cramps. If they're like persistent or if they become severe, then I am going to contact the midwife or a consultant, something like that, just to get checked over. But hopefully that will settle down. There we go. Still pregnant. Okay. Yeah. That makes me so happy to see. Right. 
you will see many more videos along this journey I anticipate I hope so I will see you in my next update bye oh my god I look amazing I've just woken up and I am definitely feeling six weeks pregnant today I feel so nauseous just turning around in bed mm. is making me feel like so disgusting I had to pop downstairs for a glass of water and the smell of the kitchen Ugh. nah I kind of deal but it's all part of it and I'm so grateful to be going through it it's just horrible <laughs> I have an appointment on Tuesday so that's what Saturday now so three or four days time and I, I can't wait for it I'm so excited to have this so excited to have that appointment because I just want someone to tell me that something is going on down there and obviously I'm going to be nervous because I don't know how my diabetes has panned out and how it's affected the development but I'm hopeful that they can just give me some kind of good news I uh, thought so I would just quickly let you know how I'm feeling because today has been well yesterday actually yesterday it started yesterday was when I felt it kind of starting I was sat in the car not a long journey but it was about a 40 50 minute car journey to the destination and I had to press my I had to press, you know, the little the pressure point on my wrist. I had to hold that pretty much <laughs> for the entire journey. And I did kind of ease it. But today I've woken up and I'm just not feeling great at all. So grateful to be going through it, obviously. But yeah, it is horrible. And I hope it doesn't get any worse than this. Okay. It is Tuesday the 27th of October and today I have my first appointment with the OB that's at the General Hospital. I'm about six weeks and four days I think according to the apps and according to my guesstimations but I would like to hope that I kind of get an answer of when the due date would be at this appointment today. Hopefully that's something they can tell me. According to the appointment letter, I need to have a full bladder, so I'm guessing they're going to be taking a scan of some sort, maybe just to check that there is, like, a sack there, I think. And, yeah, uh, it's about 40 minutes drive, so I'm going to be drinking my bottle of water on the way there. This was from Typo. I don't know if there's Typos all around the UK, but there's definitely one in Edinburgh and one in Gateshead, so check out a Typo if you want a bottle like this. I don't think they'll have this exact bottle, but they'll have plenty of this size and style. Um, and I get a lot of compliments on this bottle. So yeah, check it out. I think it was about 11 pound. And um, yeah. So I'm gonna be drinking that on the way to the hospital. I'm gonna leave in about five minutes. Uh, the appointment's at half nine. Just wanna make sure I give myself enough time to get them and find the um, department. So I'll ask a few questions whilst I'm there. They're going to talk to me a bit about my diabetes to try and get as much control as possible. Hopefully they'll be able to say that I have really like knuckle down, although it's not perfect. I have knuckle down a lot and hopefully that'll have worked in my favour, fingers crossed. But yeah, I'm quite excited to see if they do do a scan and kind of just confirm that something's there. I'm guessing everything's going in the right direction because I'm feeling rough at the moment. I'm feeling very ill in the morning and at night time. I'm queasy during the rest of the day. Not not overly queasy, but just doing the odd thing. I do feel a bit queasy, but it's definitely in the morning and definitely at night time where I'm feeling the worst. And I'm excited for this appointment today. Kind of just to talk to someone about it, just to get some answers to questions that I have so I will hopefully try and update you after the appointment if there's anything to update on hopefully all good news and I will speak to you then 
I've just came out of my appointment. Wow, there was so much information to take in. More so because I'm a type 1 diabetic. Um, I think the appointment was only meant to be 15 minutes, but we've run over about an hour and a half. So much to take in. Wow, and I got my scan. Eee! I have a little baby. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Now it feels like 100% real now. And now that I have the confirmation, I really, 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 really need to like knuckle down to control my diabetes and just make sure I'm fit and healthy to see this pregnancy through till the end. My God, there were so many questions, so much information to take in. They were pleased with my HbA1c results preconception, which from a previous diabetes vlog, you will have seen that was 7.1 or 53. And they were happy with that, but they want to get it further down. They want to make sure there's no like peaks and troughs in my uh, blood sugars. Um, because that's when it can have effect on my eyesight and my nervous system, my liver, everything like that. That's when it can be quite dangerous for myself. And it's not good practice to be up and down. Anyway, you need to kind of be steady. So I need to contact my diabetes team, the midwives, every, everyone, like at least once a week. Um, and we'll chat and discuss ways to kind of improve on the situation it's so weird it's just a little blob but it's my little blob <laughs> oh it's so much more real now um it was measuring at about nine millimeters so they put me at six weeks and six days i thought i was about six weeks and four days so my due date's actually the 16th of june at the moment 16th of june is due date which is so exciting. They are concerned about my ACR results. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's something to do with my kidneys. The levels are a little elevated at the moment and that's not particularly good in a diabetic anyway, let alone for someone who's pregnant. They need to monitor that quite regularly. They've given me a blood pressure monitor to check my blood pressure every day, twice a day, and I need to contact the well, I need to give them the results every other day, text them with the results. It was just so much information. I told them like a few symptoms I wasn't sure were safe symptoms. I don't know, like um, headaches I've been having, which is quite common apparently. My hands, I've been getting uh, pins and needles in my hands during the night, which say can happen, um, but it's more likely just pressure and diabetes rather than like anything swelling so they're not too concerned about that at the moment they're really just concerned about my kidneys which they need to just monitor and the potential that i may get pre-eclampsia is that what it's called pre pre-eclampsia um which is quite dangerous so the they prepared me that i might have that during this pregnancy which isn't nice to hear but it's just another reason for me to really just take control. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nine millimeters inside. That's like nearly a centimeter inside me. Nearly a centimeter. Oh my God. Right, okay. I've got to get to work now because the appointment ran over so long. Oh, I had all my blood tests as well. So I've got a booking appointment on the 16th of November, um, which they would have taken lots of tests for. But they actually just did all the tests today. They took about six vials of blood from me. Oh my God. If you followed my diabetes journey, you know how much I hate having my blood taken. So that was delightful. <laughs> um, that was horrible. And I had my mask on and I was struggling to breathe. Morning sickness anyway. So I'm trying to breathe with the morning sickness as well as having to breathe to just kind of <laughs> stop me from fainting. It was awful. Six vials of blood from me. That ain't it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they've taken all them tests. I want this to go into a nice, healthy little baba. <laughs> so I plan to tell my dad and mum that we're expecting uh, by giving it to them as a birthday present, although it'll be a, a present for both of them. 
I'll say it's a birthday present for him just so he doesn't really suspect anything and I've just put this in the card just so he, he's not disheartened that he hasn't got a present just yet but he will be getting it. P.S. You'll hopefully get your present when you next visit. Hi, um, I've been sent home today. Um, I've got an appointment uh, at the ultrasound this afternoon. Yesterday, uh, I had quite a big bleed. I was nine weeks. Well, I'm nine weeks pregnant yesterday, and. <sighs> I had a big bleed, which I'm obviously concerned about. I couldn't book me into an ultrasound that day, so they told me to go home. Well, yeah, they told me to go home. And if the bleed was any worse, or if there was quite a lot of clotting, or if there was pain, then to phone the NHS line and see if I needed to go into a &E. Thankfully, the bleeding kind of subsided a bit. I mean, there was still a bit of blood. Sorry, came I about this, but there was a bit of blood, um, but not as much as there initially was. And um, I did pass one bit of clot that night. The clot was about a centimetre big, but I haven't passed any more clots since then, so I don't know what that means. I'm kind of just spotting now, so I'm gonna go to my appointment this afternoon. Darren is getting time off to come with me for our support which is good because you know worst case scenario I don't want to be in there by myself. I'm just stayed there in the back of my mind that something bad's happened and I'm not looking forward to this appointment at all. So I just thought I'd update you and we'll just see what happens after the appointment. I feel like all you ever do is see me in this big fluffy coat in my car. It's a new car, you might have noticed. I have a bigger car now, obviously, you know, more of a family car now. So yeah, we love it. We absolutely love this car. And I'm sure our family's gonna love it as well. But yeah, I feel like all I do is sit in the car with this big coat on and just give you little updates. So updates so far, at nine weeks pregnant, um, I'm 10 weeks tomorrow, so last Wednesday, I had quite a big bleed, which obviously wasn't very nice. I panicked, phoned the labour ward straight away. They told me to phone the early pregnancy assessment unit um, to see about getting like some checks. They couldn't book me in for any scans on that day. I had to wait until the next day to get a scan. So me and Darren went to the scan on Thursday afternoon, so that would have been nine weeks and one day scan was fine, baby was there and I had a little heartbeat. Uh, she said, TMI, but she said that my womb was in good condition. She couldn't see any reason why there would have been a bleed. She just said that it could be changes to the hormones around the cervix. Fingers crossed that's all it is. I have been spotting since Wednesday through till I haven't had any spotting today so far. But I mean, it kind of comes and goes, but pretty much all of last week I was spotting and it's just very disheartening because you just don't know what is happening and the doctors won't investigate until I've had, I'm hoping I don't ever have, but until I've had three big bleeds. But so far everything's fine. I'm just going to take it a bit easy, try not to do too much, rest where I can and hope that everything's still fine. So I am a bit apprehensive at the moment you know it's not how you want to feel when you're pregnant you want to be really excited and happy and right now I'm really not feeling like that I'm just full of fear and anxiety yesterday was my booking appointment with the midwife it was over the telephone 
and we just talked about like my history, Darren's history, family history, that kind of thing. And today I had a dating appointment, so it wasn't the dating scan, it was the dating appointment, so they took my height, weight, um, they were going to do blood tests, but I'd already had all those blood tests taken at my consultant appointment back at the end of October. So I didn't need to have them done again, thank God, because that was six vials of blood they took for me on that day, and she was almost about to do it again <laughs> today. And I was like, actually, I'm sure they said I had my iron taken. She went, oh, look, we'll double check, and she did, and all the tests were there. They said that my HbA1c was 45%. 45%. That is like, come on. How happy was I when I was at 53% and now I'm at 45%? Oh my god, that's like non-diabetic HbA1c. That's like, that is the dream. So yeah, I've just got to try and keep it that way. At the moment, keeping my blood sugars under control is a little bit difficult. I don't know if it's the stress that I'm under, having had this bleed, or from what I've read, like diabetics can have quite low blood sugar in the first few weeks of pregnancy and then it'll start to creep up. So maybe I'm at the stage where my blood sugars are starting to creep up again, in which case I need to adjust how I'm looking after myself. I have my 12 week scan on the 2nd of December, so it's in two weeks time, well, two weeks tomorrow. Thankfully the NHS Trust I go to allows partners to come to every appointment and every scan, which is great. The only time the partner can't come into, can't be with you is um, in the theatre. If you were to have an emergency C-section or if you are to have a C-section at all, it's likely that I will be having a C-section just with me being a diabetic. Diabetics tend to have bigger babies so it's safer to have a c-section rather than to push out a big baby. I've then got a consultant appointment on the 8th the following week. Probably have another scan then but I'm not asking Darren to come to any of these appointments because they're not really necessary the more to just check that my diabetes is controlled whilst pregnant. So that's that for now. I just really want to try and take it easy. Try not to get too worried. So the midwife at my appointment today gave me a breakdown of what a, a, a non-high risk pregnancy would go through. So mine will be obviously quite similar but I'll have all the additional consultant appointments and additional scans. So I have already had a six week scan or it would have been seven week scan in consultant appointment. I have had a scan at nine weeks. I have my 12 week scan, 16, 16 week update with the midwife where they will, where they can test for whooping cough. A 20 week scan to find out the gender. 25 weeks, discuss, you know, like uh, the map B for the employer. The baby box info, which is quite a good initiative. It's, I don't know if other trusts do it or if hospitals do it, but this hospital provides like a, a starter pack of baby items and um, just to get you on your feet and also by 25 weeks you'll get your whooping cough vaccine 28 weeks there's another midwife appointment oh, they would test for fast they would do the fasting and the glucose test because i'm a type 1 diabetic already i don't have to do it <laughs> now i'm actually buzzing about that so because <laughs> i have heard that the glucose test is pretty disgusting so just think for the hour that women have that glucose test or how, however long it is I have to live with it for the entirety of my life. <laughs> so if that's any consolation. Uh, 32 weeks is another midwife appointment. They're all pretty much midwife appointments. Plus I'll have my consultant appointments in between dates. Birth and plan at 36 weeks. And 38 weeks is when I'm likely to be induced. Which is why she has crossed out the 40 weeks and the 41 weeks. Because they would anticipate that I would be induced at 38 weeks just to make sure that the baby isn't too big enough to come naturally <laughs> and cause damage. <laughs> and my due date's 16th of June, according to the scan measurements, but we're probably looking at a 2nd of June baby. So this is just a leaflet about the baby box. And yeah, so this must be a Scottish government initiative. I don't know if it's in England or Ireland or Wales anywhere else in the UK but um, this is for Scotland 
and he get things like scratch mittens, long sleeve bodysuit, wrapping bodysuit, three months, three to six months, additional items, play mat, dribble bib, teething ring, mattress and mattress protector, fitted sheet, cellular blanket. So it's obviously all the essentials and I think that's very important, you know, you know, particularly if it's an unplanned pregnancy or you know, if you're not fortunate enough to be able to afford this kind of thing or you haven't got family or friends that can help you out with that. I think it's just a fantastic thing to be able to offer to new parents for their newborn. Hi, so today I am 12 weeks and one day pregnant and I'm sat outside the health centre just waiting for Darren to join me and we're going in for our dating scan, a 12 week scan. Normally this is like the first scan that people would get but I've already had two scans, one because I'm a diabetic and two because I had a big bleed at around nine weeks. I'm a little bit apprehensive about this one because I have had another big bleed at 11 weeks and three, four days I think. It was about five days ago anyway. So normally this should be an exciting appointment, seeing a baby for the first time, especially with it hopefully looking more like a baby. But yeah, I'm just kind of concerned on whether there's actually anything there. Hopefully everything will be fine. TMI, the big bleed, it lasted a little bit longer than the one I had at nine weeks. I wasn't experiencing any unusual kind of pain. I didn't pass any clots. Fingers crossed that's a good sign. Still awful to think though that, you know, you you constantly told that bleeding is a bad sign. So yeah, I am a bit apprehensive for this appointment today. I'm glad Darren's here. I'm glad we're able to bring in partners. Hopefully the next clip will be some positive footage. Baby Simps is growing very nicely after all that worry. She measured it to be 12 weeks and five days, so that's four days further than what I thought I was, or that I was told I was. So due date's actually 12th of June, estimated to be now. So yeah, we have a little baba, and it was rolling around so much. This was the first picture that she took. And obviously that's the head, back end. And then the second picture she took about two minutes later, <laughs> did a somersault into this position heartbeat flicking away it's just rolling around and i couldn't be more happy about it 